Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're going to talk about the arena in Oblivion and what exactly the arena is. Now, you're never ever really going to find the arena unless you look for it in Oblivion, let's be honest. So Oblivion, it's in the Imperial City and the Imperial City is in districts, right? It's divided into districts and you don't get a quest that leads you to the arena district. So when you enter the Imperial City, if you do it on foot, you always walk across the bridge, go into the thing, the Talos Plaza, go into the middle of the city, and then go into the place that you want to go to. That's generally how it goes. So you actually skip out on the arena. Now the arena's on the right side most circle of the Oblivion uh, Imperial City, you know, of those districts. And it's literally an arena, a gladiatorial arena. It has a quest line. Exactly, basically, it's like the Fighter's Guild or the Mage's Guild, where you have a rank, you know, you kill enough people, you level up, you kill enough people, you level up, and you, you, you know, you have these preset fights, okay? So you go in and you fight these people. It's the same, pretty much the same enemies every time. I think at the beginning of the game, they're randomized, but eventually, the guy who gives you the quest, you have specific gladiatorial opponents, right? You have this elf, or you have th these two elves, or this orc, or this hammer, or whatever. And there's just this general, these people that you fight. And you meet some some people in the bottom of the arena, you know, there's it's actually pretty intricate. You have the grand champion, who gives you a pretty creative side quest. And it's actually a side quest really worth doing, because he teaches you permanent... Um, fortifications of block I believe athletics and something else that's what I believe I haven't done it in a long time but it gives you like permanent buffs on your character's melee combat skills and there's a there's something on my eye but that's what the that's basically inside of the arena now the arena is a great way if you have a character who needs money to actually make money because what you do is very simple your first fight you get 50 gold the next one you get 50 the next one you get 50 when you rank up it's 100 and you keep going up, you keep going up, you keep earning all of this gold and all this stuff. And it's a great way to level up your character, too. And it's just, it's a cool experience because you walk in and there's the announcer and, you know, everyone's cheering and there's combat and blood everywhere. It's great. That's what the arena is. It is literally, if you took a Roman gladiatorial arena, put it into oblivion and set it in the Imperial City, that is exactly what it is. Now... There's something very, very special that happens at the end of the arena quest line. And no, it's not killing the grand champion and becoming the grand champion. And it's not all the extra fighting quests that you get, all right? Yes, you get the extra fighting quests when you're the grand champion. You fight like minotaurs or something. But you get the OG, the man, the myth, the legend. You get the adoring fan. The adoring fan... That everyone memes, that everyone finds stupid ways to kill. The young wood elf with the most glowiest yellow fondue hair ever. You get him as a follower. And you know what? That's the best reward you could get at the end of any quest, is the adoring fan. And so if you want the adoring fan to follow you, join the arena. That's what it is. It is not only the gladiatorial combat death sentence that you serve a lot of people, but it is also your one-way ticket to gaining an adoring fan. So that's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. Suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you in the next episode, stream, or vlog. Whatever I decide to make.